Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention. The panel discussion is about to start. Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to College Matriculation Pahang. I am Noor Azalila Binti Saari. It, must, it is my pleasure to be the moderator for this session on panel discussion program. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce to you our honorable panelists for today's discussion. The first panelist is Nurul Zafira Binti Zakaria is a businesswoman. Hello, Ms. Zafira. How are you today? Hi, I'm fine. Next, Professor Fatin Natasha Binti Zanudin as a lecturer at University of Malaysia. Last but not least, our third panelist, Dr. Nurin Fikriah Binti Muhammad Noor as a doctor at Hospital Sultana Nur Zahira. Ladies and gentlemen, please give them a round of applause. First of all, I would like to thank each and everyone is in a good health and ready to share thoughts and opinion in today's topic. How far does social media give impact to our life? From my review, social media is computer-based technology that facilitates the sharing of ideas, thoughts, and information through the building of virtual networks and communities. By design, social media is internet-based and gives users quick electronic communication of content. Content includes personal information, documents, videos, and photos. Users engage with social media via computer, tablet, or smartphone, via web-based software or web application, often utilizing it for messaging. How about you, Ms. Zafira? What do you understand about social media as a businesswoman? Okay, as for me, social media are internet services that you interact with others and share and create content through online community. Social media bring great marketing opportunities for business of all sizes. You can use social media for first promote the name of your brand and business, second tell customer about your goods or services, third find out what customers think of your business, and fourth attract new customers. And last but not least, build stronger relationship with existing customers. That's all. Oh, I see. What about you, Professor Fatin? It is have different with Ms. Zafira. Well, of course, it have a different. For me, as a lecturer, uh, the definition of social media in education uh, is the relationship that is exists between network of people. The influence of social media in on, on teaching and learning environment is growing every year and its application can reinforce class materials, positively influence uh, discussion, collaborative work, and so on. The educators and researchers uh, experimenting the social media technologies to stimulate collaboration knowledge construction and thinking skills. That's all. Oh, I understand that. How about you, Dr. Nuri? For me, as a doctor, Media Social is a platform to find new patients. Besides that, they also have the ability to communicate with current patients, including sharing product recalls, new updates on health trends and medical breakthrough. Other than that, social media also a place to connect with other health professionals, share knowledge and provide and receive support. We as a doctor can use social media to find an information and access to conversation about health and wellness. Oh, we have all heard about the rapid growth of social media sites but not many consider the increase of social media uses in the healthcare industry. In fact, a US News and World Report article entitled Healthcare Harnesses Social Media states that 67% of medical professionals report using this social site for professional purpose rather than simply personal pleasure. What are the advantages of social media as a doctor? The advantages of social media as a doctor is it can be a useful tool for collaboration. Other than that, it can connect healthcare practitioners in third world countries, specialists from advanced locations. 
they can stream the subjected proceedings and ask questions via the internet. It can also participate in online forum, post questions and discuss patient health issues with fields who have similar interests. Oh, I see. Turns out, using social media in healthcare give you many good things for between patients and doctor. But because just because it's important doesn't mean that there are not rocky shows to navigate. The cons of social media in healthcare are real. It's crucial to look at them closely. What are the strengths challenges of using social media in healthcare? In spite of the advantages, users of social media encounter many challenges such as lack of advancement opportunities. A staggering 51% of respondents say they did not see enough advancement opportunities in their allied health careers. Employers can mitigate this by providing social bonuses, unique responsibilities and leadership positions to long-standing employers. Employers should also provide education and training opportunities, said they survey. Consider this service investment and attractions to keep employees top long term. The second is second is poor poor organizational culture. Thirty seven percent of respondents felt their workplace did not organize labor efficiently and fairly. The last one is not enough time with patients. Employer personality and genders also impact this metric. Women doctors manage to spend more time with patients than male doctors do. According to Medscap, Andy and the same may hold true for allied health, for allied health professionals. Regardless of gender, 20% of employers survey reported lack of patient interaction. It's a vicious cycle. Not enough staff means not, not enough patient interaction. Means a workplace less attractive to staff. But employers can ma maximize patient interaction best by scheduling choices. Bosses may even manage to attract more allied health job seekers by promising them more patient time. Other problems included too many administrative tasks, lack of interesting assignments, Poor shift availability and poor personal fit with workers. The burial of labor statistic projects, a need for nearly 5.6 million new healthcare jobs, mostly allied health, allied health jobs by 2020, with a group of 27% in the demand for physician assistance by 2016 alone. With that kind of rising demand for a life healthcare professional, professional, employers and a life health job seekers must work to reduce these occupational issues. It's not just about job satisfaction, it's also about positive environments for patient care. That's all about um, social media in healthcare. Uh, how about social media in education? Students have start, uh, started re relying more on the information accessible easily on this social media networking site and the web. Could social media be negatively affecting your teaching, Professor Patin? Social media be negatively affecting my teaching, like the first is cost distraction. Uh, social media platform are a major factor that are leading to distraction and hindrance, uh, hindrance of mind. Uh, these days, students tend to lose um, their focus from stu studying and rather enjoy uh, browsing and on social media. All of these leads uh, to wastage of time without learning anything from it. Most of the time, students are incapable of submitting their work uh, in the specified time. Right? Because they are more focused on social media platform, 
uh, boarding college of Malaysia. Malaysia. The second is impact on health. Uh, use of social media sites with sheer negligence uh, can have mental as well as physical effect on one's health. Students do not uh, take their meals on time, do not proper rest, and by continuously being on phone, on phone or laptop, can also have adverse impact on their eyes, such as um, make students lazy and unmotivated uh, to study or even go out and meet people. It is uh, a visible uh, for parents as well as best boarding college in Malaysia, Malaysia to keep uh, an eye on uh, what their children are doing uh, while using the internet. Too much use of social media can have adverse effect uh, on stand, uh, students' mind and they may also expose to bad posture, uh, eye strain and physical and also mental stress. The last one is reduce uh, learning and research capability. With the extensive use uh, of social media, students these days are depending more on such platforms to gain information and know, uh, knowledge rather than looking out of the same in books, journals, or notes. As it is easy to extract information online information online, reading habits of students along with their learning and research capabilities are reducing. That's all. We are seeing education institutions adapting this development into their system and relying on group research and mechanism, mechanism to improve the student life. The use of social media in education provides students with the ability to get more useful information to connect with learning groups and other educational systems that make education convenient. Social network tours afford students and institutions with multiply education uh, opportunities to improve learning methods. How can social media make a positive impact on education? Uh, for me, social media makes a positive impact on education. We uh, are encouraged online like with the advanced use of social media a platform in boarding school in boarding college malaysia uh, the students get encouraged and motivated to learn educational videos on youtube the use of youtube to watch educational videos easy access to ebooks online notes learning via video calling are some of major aspects we contribute to educational development. Distant learning, which is of the best way to learn from a reputed organization, being at any location is what social media has made possible. In fact, there are many study groups online of different subject, subject that students can join and gain knowledge from the same. The second is enhance enhance academic performance. Another uh, crucial, uh, in, uh, another crucial impact of social media helps to enhance student academic performance and increase their knowledge through data and information uh, gathering. When students are resigned with projects for uh, boarding school, boarding college in Malaysia, they go through various uh, online platforms to gather information so as to find solutions to the assignment, uh, to, to the assignment best boarding college Malaysia. Uh, the last is enhanced creative element. For me, social media helps enhance creative skills in children by allowing them to learn and later execute. Uh, the same by doing the, doing it themselves. Quite often, a uh, student's hidden talent is uh, revealed when he or she starts to take pictures and use online editing skills to make it look uh, 
aesthetically appealing. A lot of youngsters are also engaged in creating video for YouTube. Uh, a lot of students have interesting hobbies uh, that they post online via videos and photograph, which help them to realize their potential, their potential for making it making it a career. Uh, social social media usage in any classroom can be a be a great source of education which enables to inspire students to obtain knowledge. If the online technology is used in the right way in boarding uh, college Malaysia, it helps it helps in achieving the right kind of education. Social media platform help in improving one social skills, writing skills, which help in achieving achieving one's educational pursuits. That's the negative and positive impact on education. Uh, how about being a businesswoman? As I know, when it comes to small business or any business really, it's better to have more than two few methods for communicating with your customer base. So my question, why small business need social media? Um, Social media is incredibly important to business for a variety of reasons. When I first come across to a new business, anytime I do a research on my social networks to learn more about them, finding information on social media helps to validate the business and it helps users to learn more about the business itself. So why small business need social media? It is because it is because social media makes you more relevant. Social media is also a great way of business to keep in touch with their customers and it gives them the opportunity to stay in front of their current and potential customers. The statement out of sight, out of mind is 100% true. Using social media, we can help to reduce this issue. I also strongly believe that business should have a brand. Their brand for customers what they believe in, what they stand for, and tells the story about the company itself. Social media is an excellent platform to let customers know what their brand is. Social media provides a third, social media provides a platform for good news and review. Social media is very important to a business. A company needs to use social media to make people aware of them. Customers like to know what about a company before they purchase, partner or hire them. When a company has a good social media presence, it feels like you already know them because you have heard them before. Social media empowers you as an expert. Social media is crucial because it is a way to get in front of general public and publicize your business. It is a great way to spread information about topics they might be interested in, which in turn increases their respect for you as an expert. In your field, like any good PR, the more they hear from you, especially outside of their advertising, the quicker they will think of you when they have a need of your service. And last, social media helps. Last but not least, social media helps build your brand. Social media is important for small business because it helps build brand awareness. It also lets your company show authenticity. People like to know. There are real people behind the scene of business. That's all from me. The key ingredient for doing social media marketing well is having a strategy. Without a strategy, you might be posting on social media platforms for the sake of posting. Without, without understanding what your goals are, what your target audience is, and what they want. It will be hard to achieve results on social media. Whether you want to grow your brain through social media or to level up as a social media marketer, developing a social media marketing strategy, strategy is essential. So, what is a social media marketing as a strategy? Sorry. So, what is a social media marketing strategy? As for me, a social media strategy is a summary of everything you plan to do and hope to achieve on social media. 
test the reaction and let you know whether you succeed in or failing. The more specific your plan is, the more effective it will be. Keep it concise. Don't make it so lovely and broad that it's unattainable or, or impossible to measure. Step one, choose social media marketing goals that align to business objectives. Set smart goals. The first step, creating a winning strategy to establish your objective and goals. Without goals, you have no way to measure success and return to investment. Each of your goals should have specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. Step two, learn everything you can about your audience. Create audience personas. Knowing who your audience is and what they want to see in social media is key. The way you can create content that they will like, comment on, and share. It's also critical if you turn social media followers into customers for your business. When it comes to connect target customers, you should know things like age, location, average income, type of job, little or industry, interest, and other. Step three, know your competition. Others are your competitors are already using social media and that means you can learn from what they are doing. Conduct a competitive analysis. A competitive analysis allows you to understand who the competition is and what they are doing well or not well. You will get good sense of what's expected in your industry, which will help you set social media targets of your own. It will also help you spot opportunity. And step four, do a social media audit. If you are already using social media, take stock of your efforts so far. Ask yourself the following question, or what's working and what's not? Who is engaged with yours? Which network does your target audience use? Ask that question about yourself. Step five, start, set up accounts and improve profiles. Decide which networks to use. As you decide which social networks to use, you will also need to define your strategy for each. Uh, and the sixth, find inspiration. While it is important that your brand be unique, you can still draw inspiration from other businesses that are great on social. Step seven, create a social media content calendar. Sharing the content is essential, of course, but it's equally important to have plans in place for when you will share content to get maximum impact. Your social media content calendar needs also account for the time you spend interacting with audience. Although you need to allow for some continuous engagement as well. And step eight, last step is evaluate and adjust your strategy. Your social media strategy is a hugely important document of your business, and you can't assume you will get it exactly right on the first try. As you start to implement your plan and track your results, you may find that some strategies don't work as well as you, you had anticipated while others are working and better than expected. That's all from me. Okay. okay. Why social media can be seen as a positive tool for education? This tool has the potential to hinder student performance, social growth, and communication skills. Similarly, it can be affect an educator overall efficiency in several ways. How social media is uh, disrupting the field of education? Social media is disrupting the field of education. Uh, uh, it's typically held the bad guy, targeted uh, for its negative impact on society. This, this, uh, this, uh, as the cause of growing mental health problem and social ends, and blame for the worsening, worsening health of young people and others alike. Uh, but as uh, as time goes on, and people increasingly come to realize that social media just isn't going to go away. It has become to be viewed in, in a different light. Uh, recognized uh, for its ability to grow business, uh, bridge international barriers, and revolution revolutionize education. Uh, both technology and social media has 
have become an indispensable part of our life, but to begin with the idea of bringing theater into the classroom or learning environment alarm educators and parents. Uh, piece of its potentially distraction, distracting nature, as well as its capacity to expose youngsters in an inappropriate uh, content and even the physical effect of too much screen time initially led educators to ban students from bringing device to the classroom and to block access to certain social media sites at uh, school or college but as time went on the on this proof ineffective and instead uh, uh, school began began looking for way to leverage the potential of such technologies and platform nothing increased to the motivations and engagement when it came to device use uh, device use and social media technologies in the classroom that's all this is the last question for Professor Patin, and this is the last question for Ms. Zafira. All business models rely on one thing, the people who like your product or your service. Buy it and keep your company afloat. The rapport you keep with your customer is mission critical to the success of your business. Some companies even integrate the customer voice into their marketing campaigns. Bottom line, the stronger bond you have with your customer, the better gaps you will have on the on how their work views your business. But first, let's talk about uh, customer feedback. What is customer feedback? As for me, customer feedback is the information you receive from casual customer and lawyer brand individuals alike. This information tells you what they like, uh, they like about your product or service as well as what they don't like. It's customer review effect to your business. Uh, of course, customer review a lot. As for positive review from customers, it is improve our reputation. Consumer will trust your company over lower rate of uh, competitors. Positive feedback from the past past customers increases like likelihood or a prospect to choose your company. Second, higher ranking. Google, for example, wants to offer its user the best solution to their needs. Positive review will signal to Google that your company is best suited for a particular test query. Second is easy to maintain. It's cheaper to manage and maintain a positive online reputation than it is to repair a negative one or go through a rebranding process. And for they provide solid social proof. Having a lot of positive reviews in your business instant social proof, which give you legitimacy right off the bat. The consumer can read your reviews and they know what or without a doubt your business is legitimate. If you attract a negative review, it isn't the end of the world. Just make sure you respond to it because that shows potential customers that you care about your customer base. If that many business have found negative reviews into major press attention because they address it. Last for a positive review, they build immediate trust. Reviews can be Deciding better when it comes to making online purchase or visiting a physical business location. If a customer is searching for an Italian restaurant, the review are often the decided better when it comes to selecting location to get directions to. The truth is, review uh, come into play of every industry. And as for negative review, reviews, first law does our revenue. According to one play research, Bad reviews on Google, Facebook, and you face a significant effect on your revenue. A business with a 1 to 1.5 stars rating reports 30 30 less the revenue than the average enterprise. Forbes reports that 94% of consumers avoid a company with bad reviews. A second, undermine business reputation. Negative reviews have the power to damage the reputation you have built for years. They make potential customers trust your business less. 
Many people do not purchase from a store with a bad reputation and questionably credibility. Third, drive customers away. Negative reviews such in chasing away customers from your business to your competitors. Research show that one negative review drive away 22% of prospect around 30 customers. Last but not least, low search engine ranking. Review ratings affect the way of your business rank on search engine. Negative ratings make your business to rank poorly because search engine recommends the best experience to users. That's all for me. Okay, that's all from Ms. Zafira. Okay, this is the last question for uh, Dr. Nuri. New research reveals how social media platforms like Facebook can greatly affect your mental health. Despite the popularity of social media platform and the rapid, rapidity with which they've inserted themselves into nearly all phase of our life. Uh, there's a remarkable lack of clear data about how they affect us personally, our behaviors, our social sorry, our social relationships and our mental health. Is social media the leading cause of depression? Sometimes, scrolling through your social media just make you feel bad. You try not to invite your friend, but they always seem to be traveling somewhere cool and eating something fancy. Something fancy. Other than that, social media may affect the brain in expected negative ways from making you spend more money to sparking phantom vibration. It may alter your appetite. You may want to limit your time scrolling through image of food point because it could lead to overrating. According to a 2015 review published in Brain and Cognition, looking at amazing image of mouth watering, of mouth watering, food can, food can cause your brain to undergo physiological and neurophysical change. Making you feel hungry even when you are actually hungry. It may interfere. It may interfere with your ability to think independently. Peer pressure is alive and well on social media with adults as well as with teens. And what's interesting is that you may not even realize release it's happening. That's all for our panelists. Uh, thank you for the cooperation and our the informative talks today. I am blessed to be here today with our panel's discussion about how far does social media give impact to our life. The conclusion that I can make from our discussion today is social media is really convenient and important communicate network for all the people know this. Everybody have many pros and cons by using social media. We can use it to know friends and keep contact with friends that come from different countries. We can also share our ideas so quickly. So that's all. So that's all the things could develop so fast because people could tell us their ideas and we could improve the improve it immediately. We could also learn new things on social media by watching or reading the things that people share onto the social media. People could also sell things on social media freely, which could reduce their expenditure of advertisement. So social media changed our life so much. I will have become more convenient because social media is a very useful tool for us in 21st century. It could help us to improve our life. However, we have to aware of how we use them. If you, sorry, if we could use the social media smartly, having social media will become a change for us. Okay, that's all for our panel discussion today. Let's end this here and bye.